What's up goons, gangsters, and gamers? It's your boy The Good Tonight, and today we're reviewing the Cry Nightcap. A cap for night. Goes on your head. So, Nightcap is kind of a weird combination between a normal sort of like baseball cap and a helmet. Hence the weird helmet four-point strap. So, this is sort of an alternative to helmets if you wanted to run night vision and do some quick little observation or anything too crazy. Or go on a night hike through the woods and you don't want to wear a bump helmet or a carbon fiber helmet. Although you're probably going to get like dinged in the head by a branch anyway, so. I'd probably, I'd probably just wear the helmet, but this is a unique little thing. They're only like, what, $60, $70 online plus shipping. So it was cool to kind of like check out and see what we could do here. So, traditionally, you just wear a helmet, either like a bulky ballistic or the bump carbon fiber sort of helmet that would hold your night vision. You can mount your iPro directly in there. You got all your lights, gadgets, and gizmos. You got your ear pro. These are like batteries, extra stuff you need there. And you just throw all that on. And bam! You got all nice, comfy on a helmet. And it's a, and particularly the ballistic, where you don't even really need the counterbalance. You got a solid setup for running your nods. Now, if for whatever reason you need something very small and compact that you can throw in a dump pouch or whatever, when not in use, then you have the nightcap. Now the nightcap's got all sorts of ventilation stuff going on. All it comes in uh, black and uh, multi-cam, so there's those things to consider. But it gives you a nice little mount going on. So before we get too much into that, let's pop this off. And yeah, like I said, you can just crumble this up and throw it in your dump pouch, like the one I have on here. The shroud gets it in the way, but you can keep that in there if when you're doing whatever little reconnaissance stuff, you go, oh hey, it's dark out. We need to keep an eye on that corner while other guys do Covert Ops things, so let's throw this on real quick, clip that in, and bam! Make sure your nods are good to go, and you're all set for looking around in the dark, hands-free. Which is illegal in France for some reason. Fun fun little factoid there. So, what you got here is you got your shroud. The shroud could be pretty much mod A, three-hole, four-hole shroud could be mounted on here. We're just using the Opscore as a modular bungee shroud to do our stuff. Ventilation on the side. Little baseball cap adjustment there. This patch is on here, but this is usually where you put a custom, like, $20 little uh, counterweight, and that would actually hang lower. Otherwise, the weight sits directly on top of your head, where it doesn't really help you much. You got a little vent routing cable through here, so if you're running, like, heavy, heavy nods, you can take your battery pack, and you can just swipe it on through there. With a little bit of effort, this is a lot more challenging one-handed than you might think. But yeah, you can pop your battery through there, you mount your battery in your little pack or whatever, and bam, you got battery cable access directly to your nods, so you can run the uh, cool fancy things. But yeah, we're really just using this for like ghost hunters, so heavy Gen 1 that's not so cumbersome that can't be done. So, now the options, you got this padding here, and that's going to sit right up against your dome, and that's all the comfort you get. That's it. There's no more comfort after that point. <laughs> It's going to start to suck. And it does come with these custom screws that comes with the silver ones, not the uh, black ones that you generally come with with the mounts. But these silver ones are like, kind of like made particularly for the Tefton material. So Tefton sits underneath here, it's pre-drilled, and you mount your nods in through there. For the holes, you just cut through the plastic, you usually use a flashlight of some sort, and it'll show you where the holes are in the super hardcore tactical Tefton, not carbon fiber, Tefton plastic material. And yeah, that's pretty much how you set it up. And then you do your side-to-side -side adjustments with the Velcro here, front-to-back adjustments with the Velcro underneath that, and all that Velcro holds everything together, so it's a very Velcro-based system. And that just hangs in there as your back part of that pad, so... None of it comes out if you have to wash it, it kind of sucks. So, uh, actually, does that come out? No. Actually, yeah, it does. What do you know? I've actually never seen that. There's a bit of foam right there. So this actually opens up back here, and there's foam. I didn't know you could take that out. So you can take that out if you need to wash it. Put it back in when you're done, and uh, potentially replace it if things break. So yeah, it just folds it there, and sweatband like, that folds back in there, and bam. Nightcap. So how does this actually run? Well, let's slap this on real quick. The adjustments are not headlock, they're just like general adjustments, so it's nothing too crazy. You can still run your eye pro under there. Probably gonna want to run your ear pro if you do need to do any bang bang work. Oh yeah, let's see here. It's been a minute. Ta-da! Where is it? I can do it all without taking it off. Because that's the definition of a professional. Run that over there. 
Pachin. All right, cool. As you can see, we got our nod set up. It's not the most comfortable. It's definitely a... Uh, when you make something lighter weight and more packable, the comfort kind of starts to go off to the side. But it's doable. You can see, you rotate it around to either eye, wherever you need it. You just let it hang in the middle like a goober. You're like, look how long my nose is, where it actually helps no one. But yeah, you can set that up with the counter, the counterweight, especially with heavier nods, even heavier than this, like GP, what was it? GP MVG 18s and all the cool, cool nods, you're going to want to have a counterweight because it's really just going to be weighing down right there. So, but it's functional and if you need to wear ear pro, because you know, you're not wearing your helmet, you just take those, kabam, and you're pro'd out. Ears are protected, wear your glasses underneath there, so if you're walking through the woods, you're not going to be getting your eyes ripped out by branches. The only people who don't wear eye pro with nods are people who have never had a branch in their eyeball. Or bouncing off of their lenses and being like, oh, that's why we're wearing these. And uh, yeah, you don't want to be the guy who figures it out, or you've probably been the guy who's seen someone else who didn't wear their eye pro and be like, ah, my eye, where'd that branch come from? I couldn't see it. It happens. So yeah, that's, um... These are basically just a really interesting thing I wanted to check out, so now we know. You can pop that off. Let me see, where's my release? Release me from this prison. And yeah, you can pop that right off, so. You can adjust it, you can swap out any sort of like shroud you want. It's all very customizable. Of course it doesn't come with a shroud, that's all on you. And yeah, multicam probably blends in better. I just like the aesthetic of the tan on black. That's the whole reason I went with black over multicam. And yeah, that's really all there is to it. Really simple, really basic. If you're curious what they do, that's it. This is the, uh, was it, the freaking Hypalon sort of JPC setup material. Yeah, that's just chilling up here. There's no, like, padding on the chin strap, so. Like I said, that's all the comfort is in that foam pad, so. That's all I got for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me down below. Oh, there's your cry tape right there. Make sure it's official. And I'll do the best I can to answer them, but honestly, it's kind of a pretty simple self-explanatory pack. If you are, like, a massive nerd, you'd probably be the kind of person who buys this and just wears it around town all the time. Be like, fashion! Tactical is fashion! I'm tactic fashioning Yeah. So, that's all there is to it. Simple, basic, to the point. And then you can run your lights and everything and all that cool stuff. Do your easy night shoots where you don't want to carry out your whole helmet, but you want to have night vision ready and ready to go. So, cheers. That's all I got for you. Stay chill for us, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.